Saurabh Kumar, you're with me from India and you're also responsible for the research project Women Scientists in India's uh, R&D Sector, Policy and Institutional Challenges. Welcome and tell us a little bit about the project, please. Thank you, Stan. The scientific research and development sector in India is highly dominated by male scientists. Despite the highly celebrated role of women scientists in, in biotechnology and space science, India's R&D sector consists only 15% of women scientists in comparison to the global average of around 30%. The female scientist growth pattern is in contrast with the R&D investment in India, which is of, of course very low. This raises concern about the participation of women in R&D in general and their economic contribution to the country in particular. Detailed studies and field evidence from this sector are non-existent. Thus, there is a need to explore the actual facts and about the female uh, facts and results about the female scientist research activities in India. That is why my research seeks to address a number of research questions. Why and what a variation appear in the perception and approach of women scientists in India's research and development sector towards themselves as women in scientific research, their research interests, their networking strategies and linkages, their relationship with the male colleagues, and how their domestic life overlap with their profession and the scientific research as a discipline. My research will focus on R&D laboratories in Indian universities, multinational companies, and new startups. The research will also review national developmental policies and plans. The main objective is to understand the gender perspective towards scientific education, work, and society, and how ground level experiences of women scientists is reflected into the national policies and developmental plans. And why are these research questions important to you as a researcher, but also as a man? I often encounter female researchers and women social scientists that, that have had an impact on my research and my thinking. My introduction to thinking any socioeconomic issue from a gender perspective can be attributed to the work by Judith Butler and Anne Tickner. My doctoral supervisor, Moshmi, always encouraged me to think outside the box and also to work beyond conventional and comfortable areas of interest. So I stumbled upon this research topic during the COVID-19 lockdown when I observed and read that a large number of women scientists are working in, in R&D sector in other countries, but in India, the situation is very grim. So I decided to research and write about these issues. Uh, I'm seeing this research as an opportunity to test my research skills and ability to gain knowledge in a completely different discipline and for a completely different audience. And what do you hope will be the future impact of, of this research project? There is a very little scholarship that took the role of women scientists in India uh, very seriously. By contrast, I found that writing of some of the foreign scholars in European context that is not only fascinating, but also a distinct, have a distinct, distinctive set of themes. So when examining those work in their respective national setting, I identified that correlated with the research problems in Indian context. In Indian context, many aspects of women participation in R&D sector are still untouched by the researchers of economics, sociology, and political science. Thus, my research will be an attempt to fill this critical gap. The research will also pave the way to study the same issue in some other developing countries, for example, Bangladesh in South Asia, Brazil, Latin America, or Ukraine in Eastern Europe. And I know that you just started the project, but when will you have results ready to share with us? This research involves a large field work, which I will be conducting with the women scientists in Indian universities and laboratories and multinational com com uh, companies. So the, the field work will start uh, sometime around in January, which will take around three to four months to complete. So the initial finding can be shared only after the Indian summer. Thank you very much for sharing the project with us. I wish you the best of luck and look forward to hearing more about it. Thank you. Thank you.